One quick question for you. Are you afraid of snakes? I personally am. I happen to be at a place called the Rattlesnake Roundup. Am I scared? Yes. But what even is the Rattlesnake Roundup? Well, every year a bunch of people go out to catch live rattlesnakes and bring them all together at a large town festival, hence the name Rattlesnake Roundup. But how did I even get into this mess? Well, it's actually nothing crazy. My family and I just wanted to see it. I have three things I want to try and do at this excursion. Number one, I want to see the snakes up close, be able to touch them. Number two, I want to get some interviews in. I want to be able to talk to the people who are catching the snakes and handling them. Number three, I just want to have a good old time at this crazy redneck uh, festival carnival thing. But Layton, I thought you were scared of snakes. That's the exact truth. This is actual footage of me climbing out of the water very quickly because I'm scared of snakes in the water. But I think getting up close to one and learning from the experts who handle these things, maybe, just maybe, I can try and conquer that fear. So I packed my bags, threw them in the RV, headed off on this adventure. We were staying at this fun little town called Glenrose by the Paluxy River, so before we went to see the snakes, we decided to do a little bit of swimming. I swung around on a rope swing like Jack Sparrow and hit a tree. <laughs> Yeah, that hurt. Then I jumped off a wall into the river. That was fun. And now it was time to see the snakes. I'm not scared. You're scared. I've never seen so many rattlesnakes in one place. I've hardly ever seen a rattlesnake. So this is exciting. But why am I afraid of rattlesnakes? Well, it's their bites because they're venomous creatures and the venom can cause these side effects. Redness, swelling, bruising, bleeding, or blistering around the bite. That is a tongue twister. Nausea, vomiting, or diarrhea, labored breathing, rapid heart rate, weak pulse, low blood pressure, disturbed vision, increased salivation and sweating, and numbness or tingling around face and or limbs. Sounds great. It is in fact not great. So the roundup was in a town called Walnut Spring and walking into the town, you could tell that it was going to be a crazy event. That's literally a monkey wearing a top hat. When we walked into the building that held the snakes, I met a man whose name I I, I forgot. What do I do? Just put it around my neck? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's always my deal so that he would bite you. Oh, that's so weird. This this was a snake? Yes, it was a real snake. But he was super nice and he had a taxidermy snake named Photo Joe. Photo Joe. And so how do you catch these things? Well, we uh, go to these rattles and shows and we catch them with that Okay, so at the carnival, and uh, I'm gonna do the um, the bull riding. I don't know what I'm doing. Anyways, that's enough waiting. It's time to see the live rattlesnakes. Oh my gosh. It was awful. The slithering, the hissing, the rattling. I was going to throw up. I could say for sure that I would not survive if I got in that tank. But the thing is, there are people that are. I'm wondering who the guy is who's gonna go in and um, fight these, uh, these monsters. Well, that gives me a great opportunity to introduce you guys to one of the snake handlers, Michael Shulden. Um, how long have you been, how long have you been doing this? I've been doing this for about 38 years. Are you scared of snakes? Well, before I started doing this, yes, I was. I wouldn't get within a mile of a snake. That that makes sense. That that kind of uh, runs in our family. I had a, a very good friend of mine uh -huh. that I worked with, and uh, he mentioned about going to Australia. Oh, man, I'd like to go to Australia. He says, you got to learn to become a snake handler. And that got me interested. Right. Snakes have a unique odor okay. when they scent in, mm -hmm. in areas of where they're denning up. I can walk up on a den and know exactly where it's at. Wow. That's scary. I, I walked in the cave. You, you've walked into snake, like caves where you can smell the snakes just to hunt them down? Yes. See, um, with me, whenever I see a snake, in, even in the water, I retreat. I, I get away from it as quick as possible. First thing I want to do with, you know, when they see a snake in the water, mm -hmm. they want to hit it with that oar. They want to hit it with a rock. Right. If you can back away from that snake calmly and let it have its space, mm -hmm. it will let you have your space. Okay. Uh, what you see in this pit right now are Western Diamondbacks okay. caught in around this area. And as great of a conversation I was having, the show was about to begin. Now, what is the show I speak of? Well, basically, you're about to watch some crazy people go into the snake pit and do basically anything that you shouldn't do with a rattlesnake. Hey, at least it's not me doing it. And almost immediately after the show started, the handlers grabbed a snake and asked if we wanted to touch it and there i am directly in front of a rattlesnake the thing that i talked about that i was scared of yeah remember that yeah i was about to touch it
Yep, your eyes aren't deceiving you. I touched a snake. That sounds really underwhelming. Anyways, it was, it was cool. That, that is terrifying. But simply touching a snake doesn't come close to what you're about to watch these people do. How long have you been doing this? Over 20 years. Are you scared of snakes? Mm, no. No? Okay. So yeah, so I saw you, I mean, you, you're not scared, I don't think. I, I mean, from what I saw, the fact that I saw you, you kicking them around and, you know, taking off your shoes and... I've been bit twice. You've been bit twice, Where okay. I was hospitalized. All right. So how was that? Like in general, like did it sting? Was it... No, both of my bikes. I never even felt them. Rattlesnakes have fangs that are like hypodermic needles. And when they hit you, you never know that you were actually hit. I, I've been, I've always had a fear of heights. And um, I, I did something in my life where I, I kind of conquered that. And so like, if I'm on like a ropes course or anything, I'm just not scared of it. And I, I could tell that, were you, have you ever been scared of like, for example, taking your boots off and stepping on them? Do, does your heart is your heart always in a rush whenever you're doing that or have you just managed to find a way to relax while in that state yes uh that that's a good example when we walk in this box we know that we can get bit when we step in that box that's our adrenaline rush and we know that we were playing with danger every time we step in there so you know the point of my channel is to kind of inspire people to face their fears and you know sometimes step out of their comfort zone what's some advice you could give to people who are kind of thinking about doing something that they've always been scared of you only live once just do it i appreciate you guys uh it was this was awesome take care anyways guys thank you so much for watching um i'm doing this dance to keep your attention while i say a couple more things please subscribe i'm trying to get to 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year there's a fisherman behind me who's giving me weird looks for doing this so i'm gonna go now bye